The 116th Street crew, also known as the Uptown Crew, is a powerful crew within the Genovese crime family. In the early 1960s, Anthony Salerno became one of the most powerful capos in the family. Salerno based the crew out of the Palma Boys Social Club located 416 East 115th Street in East Harlem, Manhattan. By the late 1970s and early 1980s, the 116th Street crew had absorbed and initiated many former members of the vicious East Harlem Purple Gang, an Italian-American murder for hire and drug trafficking gang operating in 1970s Italian Harlem and acting generally independent of the Mafia. History The 116th Street Mob In the early 1890s, a group of four brothers, Giuseppe Morello, and his half-brothers Nicolo, Vincenzo and Ciro Terranova arrived in New York City from Coral One, Sicily. The Morello Terranova brothers soon started taking over the growing Little Italy in East Harlem by using the black hand technique of extorting small business and grinding illegal gambling operations. The group became known as the 116th Street Mob, or Morello Gang. With their increasing power the Morellos sought to control Lower Manhattan's Little Italy. The Little Italy in Lower Manhattan was under the control of Ignazio, Lupo the Wolf, Sieta. Before a gang war erupted, the two sides decided on joining forces. Giuseppe Morello became the capo di tutti capi, or boss of bosses, but before long he and Ignazio Sieta were arrested and charged with counterfeiting in 1910. Niccolo Morello took over and became embroiled in the Mafia Camorra War. This conflict was between the Sicilian Morello Terranova family and Brooklyn Camorra gangs led by Pellegrino Morano. Each side wanted to completely control all the Italian gangs in New York City and across the United States. On September 7, 1916 Nicholas Terranova was murdered, giving the Camorra gangs the advantage. The next leaders of the Morello family were brothers Vincenzo and Ciro. They continued the war and within months police began arresting top members of the Camorra gangs. This allowed the Sicilians to maintain dominance and control over New York City and the remaining Camorra gangs joined forces with Sicilian gangs. Vincent continued operating from Brooklyn, and Ciro continued expanding his operations in East Harlem and the Bronx. The Artichoke King Ciro, the Artichoke King Terranova controlled the 116th Street crew during the Prohibition era. In his later years, after being encouraged by younger gangsters to retire in 1935 and subsequently declaring bankruptcy and losing his Pell Manor home to foreclosure, Terranova and his wife moved into the building long owned by the Morello Terranova family at 338 East 116th Street, the headquarters of the Ignaz Florio Cooperative Association. Coppola's policy racket Michael Trigger Mike Coppola was a top lieutenant in the 116th Street crew of Ciro Terranova. He took over the crew sometime between 1932 and 1936, after Terranova was put on the shelf, I forced into retirement by the new Luciano Genovese Costello regime of the Luciano crime family. Coppola was also supervising the illegal numbers racket that was once controlled by Dutch Schultz before his murder. The numbers racket controlled bookmaking and illegal gambling throughout Harlem and the South Bronx, making thousands of dollars a year. When boss Vito Genovese was imprisoned in the late 1950s, various influential members began running the crime family through a ruling panel committee. The panel consisted of acting front boss Thomas, Tommy Ryan, Iboli, under boss Gerardo, Jerry, Catena and Consigliere Michel, Big Mike, Miranda, while others served in the advisory capacity. Mike Coppola, an influential capo, also helped the panel. In the early 1960s, Mike Coppola was imprisoned on tax evasion charges and followed in the footsteps of his predecessor Ciro Terranova, being put on the shelf after his release from prison in 1963. Coppola later moved to South Florida and effectively retired. His crew, with his vast illegal interest went to Anthony Salerno. Palma Boys Crew Anthony, Fat Tony Salerno, started as a soldier in the 1930s under Capo, Michael Coppola. As years went by, 
Salerno worked his way up the ranks of the crew and the crime family, controlling his own lucrative gambling and loan sharking operations. In the early 1960s, his capo Coppola was imprisoned on tax evasion charges and demoted in rank. The crew then split, allowing Coppola's top lieutenants to break up his vast illegal interests that included his numbers empire. Salerno based the 116th Street crew from the Palma Boys Social Club located at 416 East 115th Street in East Harlem. Salerno and his brother Serino, known as Charles or Charlie Speed, led the crew, operating in Italian Harlem and the Bronx. The Salerno brothers oversaw a multi-million dollar gambling racket based in East Harlem that expanded into the South Bronx. Salerno's gambling empire included numbers, bookmaking and floating dice games. Even when the East Harlem neighborhood went from a predominantly Italian to a predominantly black neighborhood, Salerno managed to hold onto their interests and employ over 200 people in their street rackets. Salerno was a highly respected and feared gangster and a well-known New York Mafia powerhouse who continued to rise through the ranks of the Genovese crime family becoming consigliere from 1972-75, under boss in 1975, and eventually the acting front boss from 1981-86. In the late 1970s, the FBI managed to place a listening device in his East Harlem headquarters, the Palma Boys Social Club. By the early 1980s, Salerno had been caught on the bug discussing crime family affairs and business with various members, including top underlings such as Capo Matthew, Matty the Horse, Ionilo, Salerno driver and right-hand man Vincent, Fish, Cafaro, and even Lucchese crime family boss Anthony, Tony Dux, Corallo, whose own Jaguar, where Corallo conducted much of his affairs had also been bugged. In February 1985, the information obtained through the FBI bug was used to eventually indict Salerno and the bosses of New York's five families, who sat on the commission. The Mafia Commission trial began in September 1986 and ended in November. Tony Salerno, along with five other New York bosses were convicted under the RICO statute and sentenced to 100 years in prison in January 1987. Bellomo era Liborio, Barney Bellomo took over the crew in the early 1980s, operating in Harlem and the Bronx. In the early 1990s, Bellomo was promoted to street boss for imprisoned boss Vincent, the Chen Giganti. On July 27, 1992, former capo Anthony Salerno died in prison. Bellomo was imprisoned and various acting leaders such as Frank, Farby, Serpico and Ernest, Ernie, Muscarella controlled the crew. Historical Leadership Cooper Regimes 1893-1909, Giuseppe, The Clutch Hand, Morello, Capo di Tutti Copy from 1898-1909 until he was imprisoned on counterfeiting charges 1910-1916, Nicholas, Nick Morello, Terranova, Killed in Mafia Camor War on September 7, 1916, 1916-1935, Saro, the Artichoke King, Terranova, controlled the Artichoke Racket. He retires in 1935, later dies in 1938-1935-1962, Michael, Trigger Mike, Coppola, controlled, Numbers Racket imprisoned in 1962 and later dies in 1966 acting 1960 1962 Philip Lombardo was Coppola's acting capo during Coppola's extended Florida vacations 1962-1965 Philip Lombardo served as boss 1969 1981 acting boss 1965 1969-1965-1972 Anthony Fat Tony Salerno served as consigliere 1972-1975, under boss 1975-1980, front boss 1981-1987, jailed in 1987 in the Mafia Commission trial and died on July 27, 1992, Lieutenant 1960S1970S, Serino. Charlie Speed Salerno, Anthony Salerno's brother, 1972-1974, Antonio Buccalo Ferro, promoted to consigliere from 1975-1978, 
then retires 1974-1981. Save Rio, Same, Santara, promoted to underboss in 1981-1986, died in 1987, Lieutenant 1974-1986. Vincent Fish Cafaro, Salerno right hand man, became a cooperating witness in 1986 1982 2010. Liborio Barney Bellomo moved the 116th Street cruise base into East Bronx, served as acting boss 1990 1992, then promoted to boss 2010 present, imprisoned 1997 2008, acting 1992 1998. Ralph Coppola, murdered in 1998, acting 1998-2002. Frank Farby Serpico, acting street boss 1998-2002, died in 2002 of natural causes, acting 2002-2003. Ernest Ernie Muscarella, acting street boss 2002-2003, in prison 2003-2008, acting 2003-2004. Louis Mosquidiello, imprisoned. Deceased acting 2004-2008. Arthur Hardy Negro, released from prison in 2010. Sentenced to life in prison in 2015. 2010 present. Pasquale, Uncle Patty Falsetti. References. Cyfocas, Carl. The Mafia Encyclopedia, colon, second edition. Checkmark Books, 1999. Capisi, Jerry. The Complete Idiot's Guide to the Mafia. Indianapolis, Alpha, 2002. Rob, Selwyn. The Five Families, The Rise, Decline, and Resurgence of American Most Powerful Mafia Empires. New York, St. Martin's Press, 2005. Critchley, David. The Origin of Organized Crime in America, The New York City Mafia. 1891-1931